Guido, Guido Hans Davidson from uh, Iron Flight for making this project. It was a big pleasure to see how involved and what passion they work in the project. In addition, I also would like to thank uh, very much uh, Siegfried Stickstetter, Henk Osterling, who is uh, here with us here in the corner, and uh, Debbie Wolfers. They also work together with uh, Highland Pipe uh, on the project. Uh, together they had uh, three uh, residencies. And uh, a lot of things uh, were happening here, and it was a pleasure to see all that happening. And so I'm a little bit uh, sad that it comes to an end. But it's not that finished. That's, that's the last chapter for tonight. And uh, what we will have tonight is uh, the presentation. The final chapter is uh, this uh, little booklet. And uh, the booklet will be available after the performance, which is uh, following up after my little talk. When we worked on the booklet, um, Vincent Ivo and uh, Guido asked me to uh, write a little uh, text for it. And so they sent me all the stuff they did and said, yeah, could you write something too? And I looked at it and it was a little bit uh, difficult for me. Because when I looked at it, I thought, like, yeah, what shall I write? How shall I write like, yeah, how fantastic it is and why I love the stuff uh, so much. But then I thought, like, yeah, it's somehow self-evident. You look at it and yeah, like, it's not to me like to describe it again. At the end, uh, books are uh, also made to be read by everybody. And so when I looked at it, it looked like a dish which was already finished. And I said, yeah, what should I do? Like, how should I write a, a text for that? And then at the end, I said, okay, I don't want to disturb the dish, but perhaps what I can do for the dish so this beautiful, nice dish is to make a little amuser. And uh, so that was the idea of my text, which I wrote for the book, that to make a little amuser so that we get in the right mood to enjoy uh, the perfect dish what they made here for the book. So in that way, I would like to give uh, the word to uh, Hans. Thank you, Akin. And welcome. Welcome, all people. Welcome in a space full of traces. Traces of movement, traces of writing, traces of a modular collective creating in poetic dimensions. In summary, traces of a playful process. A process that, like Akim said, did not finish as we are experiencing it right now. I am going to talk about play. But isn't that a paradox? To talk about play? Or is this actually the play? Standing on a balcony feels quite theatrical, so this must be the play. What else do we play? If she plays a movie and he plays tennis, let's play writing a new language with sound and ink. While investigating our shared curiosities, we set up rules. We invent our own boundaries, and thereby creativity is enhanced. We play without a fixed purpose, so that the unexpected can arise in chance. And if this is the play, can all be the play? It might not be about if, but about how you play. Reflecting on the how opens a realm of characteristics. Characteristics such as awareness, sensitivity, imagination, interest, honesty, joy, and of course, playfulness. To allow playfulness is to create space around the subject. A space to move, a space to investigate from multiple perspectives. 
a space to let the process unfold. It seems to be impossible to pinpoint an exact beginning of the playful process. And that leads me to the thought that the process may have never begun, and therefore it will never end. Yet, it is always happening. Writing. A trace of a gesture representing the sound. Writing. Archiving all nuances of body movement. Writing. A reflection in time. Writing. Zooming in while zooming out. Writing. Choreography for the net. Writing in the library. Archiving the archive. Writing on the surface. Going into depth. Writing with the surface. Interdimensional contact. Writing collectively. Modular cohesion. Writing as context. Unintentional meaning. Writing artistically. Flexible resilience. Writing duality. Lining out non-linear thoughts. Writing stroke by stroke. One defines the other. Writing line after line. Creating crit critical distance. Writing by hand, an act of law. Writing by hand, just a set of rules. Writing by hand, a rich human experience. Writing by hand, slower than thinking. Writing by hand, just the contemplation I need. Writing by hand, growing up without a control set. Writing by hand, understanding your tool before grabbing a new one. Writing by hand, not using objects controlled by others. Writing by hand, a romance with life. Writing, making a point with a line. Collaborate. We would like to thank Danny for setting the right tone, creating a rhythm. Questioning the origins of our movement and all of our doing. We are grateful to Hank for giving us thousands of options, making choices, bringing surprising action, twisting what was secretly already there, and the space created for thinking and doing. And Sifi, thank you for understanding without talking your flow, the safety you created, and being vulnerable at the same time. Also, the movements that made us do. If the medium is the message, then what, the, what does that mean for writing? Is it the pen, or is it the paper, the brush, or the stroke? Is it the letter, or the form? the movement or the trace? Is it the artist or their workspace, the collective or the guest, the performer or the audience? If the medium is the message, then it's not the story, that's how it's told. <laughs>